I'm PG, and I'm chilling in the crib, watching the bear on Hulu, in my Michelin S Celtic shorts, dusted with cheesy puffs. And this is my review of Action Bronson's Johann Sebastian Baklava, the Doctor. Action Bronson, aka Bam Bam, aka Mr. Baklava, is always keeping busy and living his best life, still making videos for his Fuck That's Delicious web series, traveling the world, cooking, demonstrating his new workout routines, and his most recent venture, collaborating with New Balance. Which, by the way, could not hit on any of his sneakers, any of his shit. Frickin' bots. Frickin' sloppy website rollouts. Just... <clears throat> Anyways, so much to say about the man outside of music, which brings me to this notion that he hasn't been super focused on the music given all of his passions. But he has been moving and touring around recently with a band called The Human Growth Hormone, which made me hopeful for his new album and new musical direction and focus. In fact, they provide instrumentation throughout this whole album, along with help from producers Derringer and The Alchemist. So I'll just describe all of that under the umbrella of production. Eating empanadas in the back of the bun, watching Portuguese sanka. There are some neat production choices on here, including the organs gliding throughout the song Sega. On Hideo Nomo, there's this trumpet instrumental across the song with a nice, smooth electric guitar solo at the end and that groovy bass line on Compressor, which makes that Larry June feature sound even better. But also, there's production choices on here that kind of sound annoying or just made the beat sound convoluted. Like the harmonica sounds on the song NBC Leather on NBC. Or those blaring horns on Hogan. Now, I'm not a musical snob, I'm just giving my feedback based on how things sound to me, especially while it's being rapped over. Some people may appreciate how experimental and how live concert-like the beats do sound, I think the album sounds like something I would appreciate more at a jazz club or somewhere with live music, but not something I would choose to bump in the whip or get me in a particular mood. Action does what he does best lyrically and paints images of situations, actions, using obscure and particular sports references, pro wrestling, you know the deal, if you're a fan. And in this album, he does make a good deal of combat or MMA references. Mel Gibson gave me COVID at McGregor vs. Poirier 3. Okay, that was him. So as far as content goes, Bronson still keeps your ears and mind entertained. I mean, who else is going to rap about putting out a new fragrance, working out, while watching Tiana Trump in a span of two or three bars? In all seriousness, once again, Bronson continues to explore and experiment with new sounds and differentiate himself from other rappers inside and outside the studio. Although, just like his last couple records, I do feel underwhelmed, especially considering the level of talent surrounding the curation of this project. While it is short, I finished listening to this thing wanting more and wish it was executed better. Just needs more sauce, Chef. Yes, Chef. Thank you, Chef. Oh, what, PG? Would you like it more if you hit on those New Balance 1096R Azuls? My favorite songs are Sega, Compressor, and Doctor. But what are your thoughts on this album? Have you given it a listen? Let me know your feedback in the comment section. And as always, smash the like if you like the video. Smash the subscribe button. Like Hulk Hogan did to Andre in WrestleMania 3, it's me. These are my thoughts. Stay blessed.